good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, I have some brand new WWE action figure customs for you guys. And if I sound excited, it's because I actually freaking am. Because, first of all, I've been, like, kind of just feeling bleh the last few days. I don't know if you guys noticed in the videos, but I'm feeling 100% better. I just feel a lot better now. Uh, last night, it's just, that's what, the reason this video was uploaded a little bit later is because last night, I felt like absolute trash cans. I felt like literal trash Corbin, the action figure over there. And so I'm finally back here today, and I feel really freaking good. And I got all this new stuff to show you. You guys can see by the pile here. Look at this freaking pile, man. We got a freaking pile of customs, and the, the, some of them are more in the works. Some of them are just parts used from certain figures. But we also have some brand new pickups. We also have a, 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 a freaking custom that I'm excited that is finally finished. And we have a few more things in the works. I was going to show you something else, but I'm uh, maybe you guys can use the parts that are missing from some of these figures to kind of figure out what I'm working on. I don't know. That'll be up to you guys, but let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. Uh, first of all, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. We have completed our formulas, and I think these are the formulas that I'm going to go with. Um, one thing I may switch on this is I may switch it to the Target exclusive body for Bobby Roode for this Luchasaurus because I want to make sure that uh, I, I use as less paint as possible, and I think that uh, using the black crotch will probably be a lot better just because, you know, you don't have to paint over this red and you know all that good jazz but I think this is the formula I like you know we're still waiting on the head scans from BEW and I'll pull those up on the screen for you guys those things look effing immaculate <clears throat> I'm super freaking pumped for those I cannot wait for those they're gonna make these figures look insane once they're completed I also have to get his tattoos but this is what I'm working with I think it works out pretty good I'm gonna replace this hand with an open hand too because the fisted hands are just terrible I mean what what just just terrible but anyways guys that is Luchasaurus and his, you know, you can't have Luchasaurus without Jungle Boy, right? So this is my Jungle Boy in the works right now, and I think it looks pretty freaking sweet. I know he's missing a, a hand over here. It's because he had a fist and I'm switching it out, and what did we just say? They're atrocious, fisted hands. They're terrible. Can't hold mics. Can't hold anything. They're awful. Uh. So what we're going to do for this, guys, this is actually, I didn't even run through the parts on the Luchasaurus, so I'll run through this real quick. Uh, we have a HBK Elite 19 torso and crotch, and and then we replace the legs with Dash Wilder legs, you know, the, the really, really small legs. I replaced his boots with Tatanka boots, you know, give them that brown look. You know, they kind of look like the, the boots that Jungle Boy wears. I gave him open knee pads, and then I put the Tatanka wrap around his waist because I figured that would make it look a little bit more Jungle Boy-ish, does it not? It's got the brown color. It looks pretty nice. You have the black wrist tape, very small arms on there. I think these are Elite 37 Seth Rollins arms with uh, some open hands. And now we're just waiting on that beautiful uh, Jungle Boy head scan. And then for Luchasaurus, this is a Bobby Roode torso, Bobby Roode shoulders, Bobby Roode crotch. We have Seth Rollins NXT Target exclusive arms. We have Elite 23 Triple H thighs. We have Elite 57 Seth Rollins knee pads and Elite 57 Seth Rollins kick pads. And I think these are going to look fantastic. Once we get those BEW head scans on here, these are going to be freaking some of my favorite figures in my entire collection. But until then, these are my favorite figures in my collection right now. We have George Washington, we have Teddy Roosevelt, and we have Abraham Lincoln, and we finally finished the trifecta. We finally got him in his in-ring gear, and I know it's not the most creative right now because uh, I'm still sort of playing around with it. I actually played around with a lot of formulas, but this is the one that looked the best to me at the moment. We have my Abraham Lincoln Elite, guys, and right now this is what he looks like, and he looks pretty solid. I mean, I like it. You got the Dean Ambrose torso, Dean Ambrose crotch, and Dean Ambrose legs and shoulders. We replaced the head scan, obviously, with the Abraham Lincoln custom head scan. It fits that body well. It makes him look pretty jacked. And then I replaced his arms. Instead of Dean Ambrose plain arms, I put some berserker arms. They're kind of longer. And since uh, Abraham Lincoln was 6'4", uh, and Dean Ambrose is 6'4", I thought that would fit perfectly. It's the perfect tight. He's got longer arms because, you know, I think Abe Lincoln had some pretty long arms on him. And this looks just like him. I remember uh, when we came up with the formula to do these, to do these head sculpts and stuff, I, I completely, like, I'm kind of bragging on myself, but I think I nailed the likeness as far as what base heads to use. I 
use that Bret Hart for that George Washington, and I use this Shawn Michaels for this Abe Lincoln, and I'm really impressed with how it came out. I really do love it. So now we have, uh, I think this is how they're going to look, guys. We finally got him off that terrible JBL body, and I think Teddy Roosevelt is probably going to be the manager. Don't you think that would be the best thing? Uh, we would have the Founding Fathers, and we'll have George Washington right here. We'll have Abe Lincoln, and then we'll have... Teddy Roosevelt as the manager. I think that's the best thing to do. Unless, uh, you know, you guys tell me that you want to see Teddy wrestle. Uh, this is what we got so far. And uh, that is it. So uh, we have the Founding Fathers are complete. I don't know what the hell's up with my exposure on my camera. It looks freaking terrible. Oh, that's why. Nope, nope. I don't think it fixed the John Brown thing. I, maybe it did. I can't tell. But anyways, we got the Founding Fathers, guys. I would love to know what you think of Lincoln down below. I still like George. George is my favorite. He's the GOAT. But Abraham Lincoln's good, too. I, I do love Abraham Lincoln and I like the way the figure looks, but uh, there is more customs. We have the uh, the Founding Fathers are finally complete, and we have our uh, our uh, a boy and his dinosaur figures, obviously with Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. Then we also picked up these Finn Balor's from Amazon, guys, and I gotta say, these are absolutely trash. I picked up three more for freaking customs, and look what's wrong with them. They freaking have wobbly, dobbly, stupid, idiot, dumb, loosey-goosey torsos. What the hell is that? Not just one, but two. This one's not as bad, but that that one's terrible. But this one, I mean, this one's not not as not not that much better. And then we have the trifecta. All three of them have loosey goosey torsos, man. I mean, to be fair, I did pay six dollars a piece for all three of them, so I got all three Finn Balor elites for eighteen bucks on Amazon. I actually would have bought like six or seven, but I'm kind of glad I didn't now because of that torso problem. Maybe uh, I can do some different customs, like the backstage attires or something with these, because the torsos are so jacked. So if I crack them open, I can actually fix the looseness. But uh, we'll have to see about that. But I did want to show you guys these. We did get it. Three more. Elite Finn Balor's, and then uh, we did pick up a couple figures in the back from our homies over at NECA, and you guys will see we have the Freddy vs. Jason NECA figure, and uh, I remember going to see this in the theaters. I think this came out in 2003 or 4. I was like 7 or 8 years old. I went to see this in the theater, in a drive-in theater, actually. We have a drive-in theater here and um, it was uh, it was pretty crazy that uh, we, we got to go see that. You know, I was with my parents, I was with my brother, and I've been a, a horror fan ever ever since then. I think this is this is one of the first horror movies I saw. Maybe Halloween was another one, but Freddy vs. Jason, man, that freaking epic figure. I love this. If you guys want us to review this, please let me know down in the comment section below. We have the Freddy vs. Jason, Jason Voorhees, which looks great. Can't wait to crack him open. And then we have the, I think this is the ultimate Pennywise. Is this the ultimate Pennywise? We have another Another it figure but it's the uh, I think this is the ultimate I think we get some new head sculpts and some new accessories with this guy I'll have to do some digging but uh, you get the three head sculpts and all that good stuff and we'll, we'll get into that if you guys want to uh, see me review this one as well please let me know down in the comment section below so uh, we have the it and the Jason and then here are all these parts guys Jesus Christ on a bike in heaven on earth and in heaven at the exact same time look at all of these parts that we got going on right here like I have I have a Dash Wilder torso I have a Trash Corbin torso I have an Elite 23 Triple H torso I have a Tatanka I have a Chad Gable I have a Miz I have a Cactus Jack I have Seth Rollins I have a Jeff Hardy without sleeves an entrance great Jeff Hardy without sleeves I have a headless Jeff Hardy so I have all these parts just randomly here these are from all the fix up slash customs that I've been working on including Abraham Lincoln Luchasaurus Jungle boy this was a lot a lot of this was playing around with formulas as well like we we took all these and we played around with some formulas cracking parts and putting them together and stuff trying to figure out what i wanted for luchasaurus and jungle boy because i really do love them guys i mean they're they're great talents i can't wait to see what they do for aew but um that is it guys we have our luchasaurus which is beautiful we have our jungle boy and i cannot wait to get those tattoos in here and the head sculpts it's going to make them look immaculate but uh, do not forget down in the comment section below let me know what you think about teddy being the manager of the Founding Fathers. What do you think about George Washington? And uh, what do you think about the new homie, Abraham Lincoln, guys? We finally got that hoe in some wrestling gear. And it's not the, again, it's not the most beautiful wrestling gear. But he looks pretty freaking sweet. I, I like it. I like it a lot. And you know what? It kind of fits him. You know, I can see him wearing the, the sleeveless t-shirt and some blue jeans. I wish he had black pants. I think that would make it look better. Uh, but but this works for now. You know, if I have to switch it up, I can. This head sculpt's easily removable, 
but now I'm just rambly, dambly, freaking idiot moron. So uh, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, let me know down below but what do you think of everything. Uh, got some epic customs still in the works. I'm going to finish one today, actually, and uh, I don't know when you guys are going to see it because, you know, uh, if I have specific customs that I'm working on for certain things, I don't show you guys because I want it to be a surprise. You know, I like to have some surprise elements in uh, in things, so I, I don't want to spoil all, everything that, you know, I do, especially with customs and related to, you know, MDT and stuff like that but that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching again let me know down below if you want to see jason and uh J jason and freddie do you want to see jason and it reviews subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos and other ish follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you